Yes, ma'am. You are. Yes. Uh, respected Dr. Ajay Sharma ji, Honorable our guest speaker of the session, Mr. Arnav Bhattacharya, my dear colleagues and students. On behalf of the ST College, it's my great privilege to formally welcome our guest of the day, Mr. Arnab Bhattachar. Mr. Arnab did his bachelor's in electronic engineering from Javedpur University, Kolkata, in the year 2015. He completed his master's in technology in the year 2019 from the Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi. Mr. Arnab has also been senior engineering in Larsen and Turbo Construction Limited from the year 2015 to the year 2017. Presently, he is working as an examiner of patents and design and LIPAM officer, the patent office, Kolkata. His area of expertise in prior art research and patentability analysis in examination of patent applications. So we are fortunate enough that such a big personality is among with us to enlighten our students on different areas of ideas and also to motivate them to how to convert their ideas into innovations thank you so much sir for sparing your valuable time uh, for this session i ask you to please start the session thank you okay thank, thank you, you very Minima. much Matt, for this introduction part so uh, i would like to welcome all the participants on this awareness session on intellectual property rights uh, i am anna bhattacharya examiner of patents and designs from the patent office kolkata and I, uh, you know, uh, I wish everyone uh, World IP Day. Okay, uh, today is the World IP Day, and today's uh, theme for this year, I mean, for the World IP Day is IP and the women. Okay, uh, empowering their creativity, ideas from across the globe. Okay, so uh, before going into the details about the session, let us try to understand what does that, you know, uh, uh, term intellectual property right actually means to us. Okay, if we go by the term word by word, so the first word that is coming out is intellectual. So intellectual means anything that is coming out of our intellect, that is our brain. Okay, so any ideas or thought processes which are generated in our mind, okay, are called as intellectual things. Now regarding properties, so basically properties are classified into broadly into two types. One is tangible properties which refers to the physical properties like gold car, house equipment, furnitures that we can touch and that we are using day in day to day lives. Right. The other classification is intangible properties which are not physical properties like inventions, literary, artistic works. Okay. And our topic of today's discussion intellectual property is a type of intangible property. Okay. So something that we possess is basically uh, our property. Right. And those, the ideas of the thought processes which are actually generated in our mind are actually in possession with us. Therefore, it is our property. And since it is our property, we have got a legal entitlement to it. Right. That is, we, we got a right to that property. So, therefore, uh, the term intellectual property right is actually, uh, this is how it is generated. Okay. As you can see. Uh, it refers to creations of minds like inventions, literary, artistic works, designs, symbols, names, used in commerce. Okay. So, and uh, okay, so the legal right that protects our intellectual property is basically called as intellectual property right. So, types of IPR. So, IPR is basically classified into some. Uh, you know, types and we shall discuss each and every classification in detail but before going into that okay let me just give you some popular examples against each and every classification that will help you to understand better each and every classification in future like for patents whenever you hear the term patents in future okay just remember only one word that is invention because patents are only granted for inventions not for anything else Okay, yes, not all inventions can be patentable, but all patents are definitely inventions, which is a product or a process. So, regarding designs, we are aware of this term, any shape, configuration, uh, like the design of the sari, the design of the, you know, footwear, the design of the sofa. Okay, so all these shape, configuration patterns are basically protected by designs. Uh, next is the trademarks. Popular examples exist like that of the uh, brand name or brand symbol or logos. Okay, that we can see in Pepsi, Coca-Cola, okay, uh, Nike. Okay, so these logos or symbols are basically called as trademarks. And next for geographical indications, popular examples exist like that of the Darjeeling tea, okay, Nagpur orange, okay, and uh, 
you know uh, nilgiri trees okay etc et several examples are there which are protected by geographical indications next for copyright it protects the literary artistic works like novels literatures okay films music movies are protected by copyrights and last but not the least we have got this sicld that is semiconductor integrated circuit layout designs here just remember the term integrated circuit the small microchip elements which are present inside the you know uh, electronic devices okay how they are arranged in it that particular layout is protected by sicld that is semiconductor integrated circuit layout designs again i am repeating for the patents just remember invention for designs any shape pattern uh, of the, of any article like sari uh, you know smartphones or any of uh, sofas etc for trademarks the brand name or symbols like pepsi coca cola nike adidas for geographical indications nagpur orange tirupati laddu andhra pradesh tirupati laddu bastar dhokra madhya pradesh etc for copyrights novels literatures music movies etc for sicld the small microchip elements how they are arranged that particular arrangement now why ipr is important why are we even discussing this uh, topic first of all it is a legal right okay they are all ip rights are enacted by the indian laws or any other country law, uh, legal system so therefore they are legal rights and they are also exclusive right that means apart from the ip right holder nobody has got the right to use that particular ip okay so it's an exclusive right only uh, given to protect the innovator next is the commercialization suppose you have got an ip right registered against uh, uh, you okay so but you do not have the necessary resource to convert it into a mass product for that what you can do is that you can sell your ip right you can assign your ip right or you can even transfer your ip right to any person or any third party manufacturer who will produce your uh, invention or your, your ip into mass scale right so it can be commercialized it can be used to earn money or have a source of income and ip is also an essential asset uh, business asset in knowledge economy uh, some innovative startups like bellatrix aerospace dolby laboratories which are directly based out of innovations okay they are running their business out of innovations so in who will protect their innovations their innovations will be protected by none other than intellectual property right okay next how different classifications of ip may be present in a single product like the product here is a smartphone in the top uh, you know uh, in the top portion we can see the word samsung is written in a particular fashion which reflects the brand name right so how it is written that is uh, that will be protected by trademarks okay next whenever we purchase any electronic device we usually get a small booklet we call it as user manual which outlines all the you know safety informations and other procedures about the device so that uh, booklet being a literary work manuf uh, i mean published by the manufacturer company therefore it will be protected under copyright next the technology behind the smartphone the data processing methods the user interface all these things are basically invention so therefore will be protected by patents the overall shape of the smartphone the arrangement and shape of the screens okay that will be covered by designs and finally inside the smartphone if we ever see we can see a detailed arrangement of small microchip elements which will be protected by sicld so this is how different classifications of ip can be present even in a single product like this a smartphone next how ipr is generated since it is intellectual so therefore our brain is involved in it so the ideas or thought processes are generated in our mind that is in our brain but please try to remember that any idea or thoughts however innovative it may be however innovative or rather creative it may be is not yet an ip okay you have to convert that particular thoughts or ideas okay creative ideas or thoughts into a process or product or in the form of expressions okay then only you may take the help of all the necessary resources and then just materialize those ideas and thought processes into a process or product or in the form of expressions only then it will be called as your intellectual properties okay so an idea or thought is not sufficient it should be converted into a process or product to create an intellectual property as already mentioned ip can be used for personal uh, use also it can be used for licensing or assigning 
uh, to any other person or any third party manufacturer okay and it can also be you know used in business like in franchise as well as merchandise model so these are some of the methods by which ipr can be used to earn money to have a source of income okay next for first classification patents as already mentioned just one word you need to remember for patent that is invention so what is a patent it is an uh, legal right that protects our inventions okay it's an exclusive right for a limited period of time okay that term the, the term of the patent protection is 20 years and it is a one time protection you cannot renew it after 20 years also after to, after the lapse of the term uh, the i mean the patent will be in public domain then anybody can use okay so what the applicant needs to do in order to apply for a patent that applicants needs to disclose the invention okay you cannot keep your invention secret and protect it by intellectual property it is not possible okay you have to disclose it during the application stages okay where when thereafter it will be published and therefore uh, after it will proceed to the subsequent stages okay so that disclosure is made in the form of complete specification which will be published in the patent office journal and the term is 20 years from the date of filing okay uh, or of uh, Indian application if you are filing in India or if you are filing through uh, from any foreign country and other things it will start from the international filing date. Okay. Next patents uh, no, inventions can be you know, uh, range okay from very small uh, minuscule things to very large things also right uh, and we have come across several famous scientists who have got path breaking inventions in their name like Thomas Alva Edison who invented phonograph, Alexander Graham Bell, telephone. So these are some of the scientists who have got you know, very famous inventions by their names. Another famous invention that we can see is the particular shoe okay, that, that, has, that had been invented by the famous uh, dancer Mr. Michael Jackson who used to perform his signature moves by wearing the shoe right it is called as anti-gravity illusion shoe and since it is his invention therefore he had protected uh, his invention in terms of this us patent for the cricket lovers we have got these led stumps okay so this is also an invention invented by an australian inventor mr brown sakerman and he had protected his his invention by patenting his multiple countries and now, if the BCCI or ICC or any other cricket organizing body wish to you know, use this invention, they need to obtain the permission from the inventor or the patentee, right? So that permission is obtained with the help of licensing arrangement. And you will be surprised to know that the license fee, the cost of the license fee, uh, the cost of licensing this patented invention for using in a particular set of match is for a particular set of stumps, it will cost 25 lakhs okay for and for two set of stumps for a particular match it will cost, cost definitely 50 lakhs okay so this is the power of intellectual property other indian inventions include the usb okay invented by mr rajay bhatt an intel engineer okay hepatitis b vaccine is also invented in, in india okay so now if you are a researcher in and in the process of inventing something but it is not yet completed so you cannot you know, a file for the full disclosure during the patent application, right? But if you want to secure your filing date, which may be very useful uh, in the subsequent stages, and it also helps you to get the patent patents uh, rights ultimately, okay, you can opt for this provisional patent application route, okay? Whereas you need to uh, submit a very basic uh, description about your invention, very brief summary, Okay, and then the patent office will give you one year time to complete your invention and you have to file the full disclosure within one year from this date of filing of provisional patent application. It is very much analogous to having a learner's license and a driver's license. So provisional patent means uh, application means you, uh, you have applied and you have got a learner's license which is valid for six months in case of learner's license but in case of provisional patent it is valid for 12 months okay and then you uh, within 12 months you have to file the full disclosure that is the complete specification okay in order to proceed your patent application in further stages coming into the fees the fees of the patent application it varies with the categories of applicants okay if the applicant is filing as a natural person or any startup or any uh, individual or joint 
uh, or if any the, the or if the applicant is an educational institute then the filing fees is less it is 1600 for the uh, patent filing fees and another for uh, request for examination fee it is 4000 okay so the minimum filing fee you have to pay is 5600 but if the applicant belongs to some other category like uh, corporate bodies industries okay then the filing fees will be higher by five times that is 28000 if the applicant wish to expedite all the internal processes or stages involved in the patent application, then the, they can opt for this expedited examination. But this route of expedited examination is only applicable for certain categories of applicants who are eligible to apply through this route. Who are those applicants? The, if the applicant is a startup or small entity, they are eligible. If the applicants are filing individually or in a group, wherein at least one applicant is a female, then they are eligible to file through this expedited examination. Any government department, any government educational institution, okay, they can also opt for this expedited examination, wherein all the stages are completed in a very fast manner. And if found eligible, uh, after fulfillment of all the technical and legal requirements, the patents will be granted in uh, within three to nine months also. Regarding the disclosure, uh, the complete specification is the full disclosure about your invention. Okay, it contains the, uh, the title of your invention, the background, what are the existing uh, problems in the existing technologies, how you are trying to solve the problem, these things should be mentioned. Uh, but the most important part is the claims. Okay, what it defines the scope of your invention. Okay, suppose you, write, you have written all the properties of metals, but in the claim you have mentioned copper. Your invention will be limited to what you write in the claims. Okay, that is that your invention will be limited to copper because in claim you have mentioned copper. Okay, and it will exclude other metals also. And other abstract and drawings needs to be furnished in the disclosure part. Now, if you have got an idea and you wish to protect it, but how to know whether that idea should meet the criteria of patentability or not? For that, a patent search is conducted using the free access databases we have with the for the Indian Patent Office concerning the Indian patent publications we have this in-pass database for WIPO, uh, EPO, European Patent Office, US Patent Office have all their own databases also. Google patents are there for free access databases. In addition to patent search you can also conduct the non-patent literatures in academic and research journals uh, in your own academic databases. So the criteria that are being checked okay during the course of patent application is novelty the technical criteria are novelty inventive step industrial applicability novelty means the invention should be new okay uh, inventive step means it should be technically advanced or economic significance or even both and it should be non obvious also but in addition to these uh, three criteria industrial applicability uh, means capable of being made or used in industry there exist also Another non-patentable invention, certain inventions which are categorized as non-patentable and which cannot be granted a patent in India. Okay, so these are called non-patentable inventions. And if the if your application fails to fulfill any one of these criteria, then the uh, uh, ultimately the patent application will be refused. So what are those non-patentable inventions? The significant amount is that uh, the I mean the important part is that uh, no invention should be frivolous, okay, or contrary to well established natural laws, any uh, harmful inventions are not patentable, any discovery, any new form of discovery of, of known substance, any mere admixture, any mere arrangement or rearrangement, any traditional knowledges, any surgical, medical or diagnostic procedures are not patentable in India. But the another important part is today's you know state of the art technology is the computer programs. Any inventions which which is actually computer programs or software or algorithms may not be patentable. But if in spite of being in non-patentable section, if it proves to have a technical effect comprising technical advancement, then ultimately it may be granted a patent in India. Some basic timelines are given. Uh, Whereas the important one is the provisional to complete specification, which should be done within 12 months. But the another important part is this request for examination form 18. It should be filed within four years of the filing date. Unless and otherwise this form 18 is filed, your application will stop at the publication stages only. It will not proceed further into the examination and the final disposal stages. Okay. The applicant needs to file a form 18 in order to move their application to further stages, uh, ultimately into the disposal.
Next for designs, any shape, pattern, configuration, ornament, composition of lines and colors which are applied to any article like the, the design of the sari, the design of the footwear, okay, and they are called as basically designs. And the term is 20 years and it can be extendable to 5 more further years, that is to maximum 15 years. Now uh, the examples of designs, uh, we have got the design of the bicycle, the design of the car, the design of other articles are there. Here we can see how the design of the Coca-Cola bottle has been evolving over the period of time. Whenever two or more products have the same designs and are being sold together, they are called a set. We very commonly use this term like the jewelry set, the set of teapots, the, the sofa set, etc. Whenever a design is registered, the, gov I mean, the government of India will grant this certificate of registration of design. Okay in this format. Next trademark, it protects the brand name or brand symbols or logos, okay. But there is, uh, please try to remember that having a business is uh, one need not to necessarily have a trademark, but we can see some big companies, they all got the trademarks, right. So what is the importance of having a trademark? The importance is that it offers a source of identification by seeing that logo or brand name only we can identify the brand and we can also judge the authenticity of that brand right and apart from that uh, we can also have an assurance the customers also can have the assurance about the quality of product and services just by seeing the brand okay so definitely it will develop their or it will enhance their brand goodwill and business reputations what are the subject matter of trademarks it contains product marks Service marks are there, Infosys Trip Advisor, certification marks are also given, taglines or slogans are also there, and sound marks are also there. Uh, let me just play the sound. This is sound one. You can easily identify it. This is the sound two. So, okay, so these car also can be protected by trademark. Shape marks are also there, collective marks are also there, series or associated trademarks. Of different uh, 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 common brand having different you know uh, uh, categories so whenever a, the TM word is written beside the trademark it indicates that the trademark has been applied but registration is yet to be pay, uh, done it is pending stages but if the trademark is registered then they will mention this symbol of R inside a circle Okay. Next for copyrights, the literary artistic works are protected by copyrights. But please try to remember that copyright is an automatic right. Okay, that means the, the from the date, date that you have published that particular uh, article or the document, you will get an automatic copyright. You need not to register to the copyright registry and have the copyright. It is optional. Okay, and copyright also kind of protect an idea. What are subject matter of your copyrights? Literary works, dramatic works, sound recording works, okay, uh, audios, artistic works like paintings, musical works, and uh, cinematography films can also be protected by copyrights. So copyright basically has got two types of rights. One is economic right, which is uh, which can be transferred by the author to any other person, like the publishers also. But the moral right that the book has been written by me, that is the original author, it stays with the original author. Now regarding the term of protection uh, for published literary or dramatic artistic and musical works, the copyright term is lifetime of the author plus 60 years after his or her death. For cinematography, film and sound recording, it is 60 years from the date of publication. Broadcast reproduction right is 25 years following the year of broadcast. For performance right is 50 years. Next for SICLD. Uh, with this, you know, emerging technologies, this particular category of IP is getting getting much more important. Why? Because, say, for example, you have got a smartphone earlier. You have got a smartphone with only one camera in it, right? Nowadays, we are seeing that smartphones are coming with four cameras, five cameras, right? So, how is it possible? Uh, additional functional elements are being added to that, but the uh, IC chips or the uh, integrated circuit or microchip elements are being arranged in such a way that the space occupied by the device remains same or rather gets reduced. So, in order to protect those arrangements, they need the help of this SICLD. Okay, so the last IP we have got is geographical indications. It is called as invaluable treasures of incredible India. Let us try to understand why. But what is a GI? Let us try to understand with a 
uh, you know uh, example like the darjeeling tea the product is a tea okay it is grown in the darjeeling himalaya region and we are aware that the tea which is grown in the darjeeling himalaya region are famous for their good quality as well as other taste and other aspects so these type of products which are famous from any particular geographical location and possesses qualities or reputation by virtue of that origin are identified with the help of geographical indications other examples include the makhrana marvel rajasthan bobili veena from andhra pradesh from tamil nadu uh, i guess for venkatagiri handloom sarees from tamil nadu nilgiri tea nagpur orange okay and these are available and from all the corners of our country therefore they are called as invaluable treasures right and please try to also please also try to remember that all these examples that we are showing here are all registered geographical indications that means that they are already identified and registered as a geographical indications what are its benefits from the customer point of view you uh, you will not get the benefit because the cost of this product will increase substantially but if we see from the business point of view that the skilled art artisans or manufacturers who are actually manufacturing these world quality or best quality products so they uh, their economic conditions will improve okay uh, whenever this gi is registered and people will come to know uh, about this uh, or about this intricacies of their products like the ratlami safe from madhya pradesh kanchipuram silk from tamil nadu Uh, telangana teliya rumal madhubani paintings from bihar katputli sar rajasthan so okay so they are, these are all examples of registered gi products tirupati laddu is there nagpur oranges bobili veena andhra pradesh uh, telangana sheria paintings are all geographical indications so the watch that we are wearing the food that we are consuming the clothes that we are wearing the apparels that we are wearing it all contains intellectual properties in it ip is present everywhere in our day to day life okay we are dealing with intellectual properties okay in our day to day life okay everywhere thank you so next for the validity period the for patents the term is 20 years and there is nothing called global or international patents all ip rights are territorial in nature okay please try to remember that that means that a patent which is granted in india will be valid for india only it will not be valid outside of india okay for designs it is 10 years okay and it is also uh, extendable to for the five more years for trademarks and gis they can be uh, you know protect uh, they can be protected uh, indefinitely okay but you have to pay the renewal fees for that for copyright also different subject matter have got different terms of protection as already discussed now please try to remember that geographical indication okay it belongs to the whole community right it it is not the you know, uh, protection for any in uh, separate individual not given to that in individual so any individual cannot apply for gi but for other ip rights in individual or uh, uh, startup or uh, even uh, educational institutions or anybody can file and protect their ip rights except geographical indications and all ip rights are territorial in nature some points to remember is that if you are a researcher and uh, in process of inventing something uh, so what we suggest is that before going into the academic publications for your academic interest please try to file the patent application okay uh, uh, first and then go for academic publications unless otherwise what happens is that you know uh, your journal will be published and after a few years of time you realize the importance of having a this as as an as your ip and then file the corresponding patent application so the that journal publication which you had published earlier is cited actually during your uh, your application patent application processing to reject your application patent application okay so better that first file the patent application if you have not completed file the provisional patent application completed within uh, 12 months and then uh, you can uh, file the academic journals later because if your filing date is protected okay then after uh, you can do anything but don't uh, or rather better not try to publish beforehand and if you are trying to publish before and you have already published it don't forget to file the corresponding patent application within one year from the date of publication 
this timeline is very much strict if this timeline is exhausted one year time then your publication will be cited to reject your patent application as a prior art and rights are territorial registration done by sovereign authority all ip rights are granted by the government of india in case of india all have limited period of time and no automatic relief if you find that your ip right is violated okay you need to uh, you know uh, approach the legal authorities to seek legal remedies a renewal fees need to be paid for some ips an appointment of patent agent not compulsory if you are filing a patent application you can approach our uh, you know online e filing portal you can uh, file your patent application also in online mode and not only filing all the subsequent stages will be conducted in online okay so you, you can do it yourself or you may take the help patent application uh, patent agent okay or any ip professional okay thank you next for career opportunities so ip this domain of ipr has got two types of opportunities career of what is government job okay which includes examiner of patents and designs examiner of trademark and gis examiner of copyrights for others in private sectors we have got this patent agent who are basically you know uh, they should have the uh, qualified to represent or, or or authorized to represent any applicant for filing as well as prosecution of patent application patent agent examination is being conducted uh, by the patent office only uh, yearly fashion and for being a patent agent you need to be at least 21 years of age have a degree in science and technology legal degree is not mandatory and you need to qualify this patent agent examination only then you will get the registration number from the patent office and you will be authorized to represent any applicant for filing and prosecution of patent application similarly we have got the trademark agent for trademark applications grf srfs are there in patent facilitation centers and for legal part we have got this patent litigation and other opportunities in private sectors we have got a training institute located in nagpur called as rajiv gandhi national institute of intellectual property management it conducts from time to time uh, different uh, courses about ipr so anybody who is interested in this domain can undergo any type of training programs so thank you very much this completes the presentation part and uh, then we will quickly move into the question answers part so anybody who has got any doubts and queries they can uh, either write in the chat box okay or you may unmute and ask whichever is convenient for you please proceed uh, thank you sir for such an informative talk which will be very helpful for our young students researchers and even the faculty members so students if there's any query as sir has advised you may put up the queries into the chat box or if anybody want to ask right now yeah i want query? to say uh, can artificial intelligence create original work that are eligible for copyright protection uh, if so who owns the copyright so it's a actually a very you know controversial uh, issue that are being raised in different countries uh, not for copyright but for patents we have got this uh, issues like uh, for patents inventor should be a natural person okay as per the indian patent act okay whereas these uh, the inventions are being created by the you know some uh, artificial intelligence bots okay so they cannot be treated as inventors as such okay and uh, the that you have mentioned in copyright also it is also a very you know controversial thing and then you know talks are going on regarding that okay but generally the i mean the original author okay they uh, they are actually been granted the copyright protections okay and whether they are uh human beings or not that part is yet to be resolved okay so any other questions any other questions students or anybody else having any query So there is one more question from Prerna Sharma. Do we have to renew? IPR can never be renewed. Okay, uh, for patents uh, after twenty years it expires. Okay, you cannot even renew or even uh, you know further extend that that life. Uh, for design it can be extended for five more years. Okay, but for GIs and trademarks it is you know the term is indefinite. Okay, period of time. But you have to. pay the renewal fees okay the renewal fees are uh, you have to pay for almost every ipr during their terms
after that yes uh, after the patent term is expired anybody can use it okay because it is already expired what we advise is that during this course of 20 years 20 years is not a small time right you can further improve your invention and then protect that improved version using by filing a different patent sir there is a variety in designing tangible patents in engineering field and medical field Okay, you are confusing this design as well as patents. Okay, both are different things. Okay, do not confuse in between the two. If you are uh, filing the design, that is a separate thing. If you are filing the patents, that is for the only invention. Okay, so if, uh, if we take it through the patent stages, that is for your invention. Uh, so for media and entertainment sectors, okay, it should not be fall in the category of non-patentable inventions. Okay, you should you should check and. Other criteria are also there for novelty, inventive step, and industrial applicability. You should have got these criteria for patentability. Only then, after they, those criteria are fulfilled, then you will get the IP, uh, patents. Culture appropriation. Okay, this uh, I have not. You know uh, that culture things is. I think it is not a tangible thing. Uh, if I am not wrong. Okay, so intellectual property is actually provided for mostly for tangible things. Okay, for intangible things, I am not aware of this. Uh, how it it will protect potential consequence that you know uh, infringement cases will be uh, you know uh, used okay against you, and the legal actions will be done as in accordance with the law. Yes, other countries can apply in India. Okay, uh, they can apply in India, but the search which is being done, it it is conducted globally. Okay, so if you are filing with the subject matter in in India, we can cite also documents which may not be Indian patent applications or Indian journals. It may be journals from any part of the world. Okay, the search is global. Medicines, drugs. Okay, those. Uh, particular things are patentable, but the process of uh, any medical or uh, diagnostic process or procedures cannot be granted a patent in India because they fail into the non patentable inventions. The drug compositions they can also be granted a patent. Yes, for that, uh, you know, the 95% copying all these things, for that, we have got this criteria of inventive step. Okay, the technical advancement needs to be significantly provided. Okay, as well as the technical uh, economical significance. All these things are checked. Okay, how much it is improved or not? How much is different? That the applicant needs to prove. Okay, definitely you can improve. Patents are not only granted for inventions; they are also granted for further improvement of inventions. Also, any other questions? Any other queries? One more, sir. How, how, yeah. how can how do I avoid infringing on someone else's IPR? Okay, for that, while you know uh, starting your research and development, okay, you need to uh, you know conduct a search, okay, about all the relevant documents, okay, which are present on that same subject matter in uh, from all over the world. Okay, you need to have that idea okay so that and you also need to check whether that idea has been patented okay or already filed or even created that ip in any part of the country that is very much important and you need to check about the for the trips convention you can just search okay it is uh you know uh, uh, something uh, related to product patent and process patent are there, but I am not going through the details for the you know uh, paucity of time. You can just check. Okay. Okay. So uh, moving on uh, uh, to the next segment, uh, I would uh, like to welcome uh, or rather introduce Mr. Akhil Singhal, inventor of 74 patents, a full-time innovator and IP investor. He is there to uh, enlighten us about the art of inventing. And importance of patent on career for students. Okay, so over to you, Mr. Rakhil. Yes, uh, thank you so much, sir. Am I audible and visible? Uh, yes, sir, you are audible as well as visible. 
All right. Thank you so much. Hello, inventors. I'm Akhil. I am a serial inventor and entrepreneur. And I welcome you to today's session. We'll keep it short and we'll keep it brief. First off, I would like to thank, uh, personally, thank Mr. Bhattacharya. Yep. Thank you so much. So first off, I would want to personally thank Mr. Bhattacharya for having a phenomenal session. And thank you so much to IPO Kolkata for arranging this uh, insightful session about the entry into the world of intellectual property. The next generation of inventors are going to come from the batches that the IPO Nipam sessions conduct. So I am absolutely sure of it. And I thank you to everyone listening. All right. I got all the flashbacks uh, while going through the session uh, because when I started my journey a decade back, uh, before I had even a, a single patent of mine, this was the information that was needed by me. And uh, this was a phenomenal session. And I'm going to go a little bit deeper into why intellectual property is essential for career progression. So first off, uh, you guys can zoom into my screen, look into how a patent certificate would look like. Some of my notable inventions are behind me. So you can zoom into the screen and see exactly how a patent certificate certificate issued by the apex body ipo looks like so this is how uh, uh, you know you start off your journey you get a first invention and you get the second one and that is how you build your portfolio and that is how you uh, gain that benefits that come along with becoming an inventor and be being involved in intellectual property so here are three reasons why it is important for you to get involved in intellectual property as a student Student. I'll be dominant focusing on students, but a majority of it applies to everybody in all parts of life. So first off, higher education. That is one of the most important things as a student that you would want to go for higher education later on, be it in India or abroad. So patent publication has extreme, extreme amounts of value as it adds to the CV while you're applying to uh, colleges in India for master's programs, MBAs, IAMs and other master programs, as well as, you know, abroad. So all of the Ivy Leagues, everything is covered and they highly value a patent publication in the Indian Patent Office. So you increase your chances by over 350%. We have sent students to uh, Michigan, to Germany, to Illinois, to all sorts of places, just because they have developed intellectual property. So therefore, it opens up all sorts of avenues for you as your career progresses. Second, differentiation in job placement interviews. So the percentage of us who would not want to go for future education, but would want to go for a job placement for people like them, a patent publication offers huge differentiation because it's very, very rare that anybody would hold a patent publication. Therefore, it offers you an immense opportunity to evolve, to showcase that you are different than your com contemporaries, your peers, and therefore increases your chances of cracking a tier one MNC by over 550%. So it's huge, huge uh, improvements over the non enter status uh, peers of yours. The third, a small category of students would want to later on build their own startups invent new things all right so intellectual property offers you a monopoly over what the ideas that you have over what you would you want to build over what your vision is for the future so for the students who would want to become inventors and entrepreneurs later on patents offer a huge differentiation a, 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 a startup which has some intellectual property is three times more likely to succeed than a startup which doesn't. So offers huge differentiation in the real market. All right. So the question that normally comes up to us is how do I as a student do it? One of the fantastic ways to get started is through the spirit of supporting the Nepal mission. We specifically designed, collaborated with the Indian Petro Office and designed a Nepal initiative focusing on inventor development classes, which is free of cost, completely online and open to all. 
not focusing on any sub, sub segment but it is open free for all entirely free it will never uh, be paid it is entirely free and open to all so i highly recommend the people who would want to understand a little bit more about how they can go about building their own first invention that is one way the link shall be put on the chat so feel free to join it is entirely open to all let me reinforce that finally i would want to thank uh, indian patent office kolkata for providing such an insightful session thank you personally to mr arna bhattacharya for taking a phenomenal session and thank you to all the audience uh, for uh, joining in thank you so much sir okay thank you very much and uh, we shall now proceed to the uh, ending part there is a remarks conclusion remarks over to you ma'am uh thank you sir uh, thank you so much for such an ins uh, inspirational or you may say it is very much informative for the students also as so much queries are pouring up so we can share the queries with you later on also sure uh, is it okay with you sir if okay. we put on our queries later on if some are remaining definitely okay uh, now i request uh, dr indu mehta head department of zoology for the vote of thanks dr indu mehta uh, over to you ma'am my voice is audible yes ma'am thanks dr sonika uh, well it is my pleasant duty to propose a vote of thanks i first of all on the behalf of college management and principal would extend a warm thanks to today's eminent speaker uh, mr bhattacharya for uh, such an enlightening and informative session sir you have put the things in such a simplified manner and it you have made your talk so interesting that uh, the question round has uh, depicted the thing itself so thanks a lot indeed i am grateful and thankful to our management and principal sir for constantly uh, helping us guiding us and supporting us uh, i am also grateful and thankful to the whole of the man, uh, management uh, this uh, organizing uh, team especially uh, dr vikram dr jyoti and dr meenu gupta plus their extended team for making uh, this event a great success my sincere thanks to the technical team as well our automation cell mr shamim khan and mr keshu and their team for always helping us and supporting us well last but not the least my sincere thanks to today's audience for sparing time for their own benefit thanks one and all have a nice day thank you sir thank you ma'am so the meeting concludes here uh, thank you so much uh, all present over here we will leave the meeting now thank you everyone uh, thanks for thank you for your active participation i hope the session is insightful and we shall yeah, look forward for uh, for the session in future so thank you very much with this we are ending the session thanks a lot okay. thank you sir thank you